Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been forever since I have vlogged and um, we are headed out right now. So I ha I'm using a different camera right now. So I have it propped in a different space. So sorry if you can, if this is bothering you. But anyways, um, I think it's been like a few weeks since I vlogged. I did put a video up yesterday of what I eat in a day. Um, but I had actually filmed that a couple of weeks ago, so it really technically wasn't even current. Um, but we have just had so much going on. Um, I need to put some lip gloss on. I got my phone. Uh huh. Um, this is a lip plumper, it's the Flirt um, lip puff. This stuff is really good. I like lip plumpers, but a lot of them hurt. They're like very painful. This is not like that. It, it tingles a little bit, but it's not bad and it doesn't last very long. And it just gives your lips like a really pretty gloss to them. Um, I'll link to it because I have a coupon code for you guys as well, but I've shared it quite a bit on Instagram and I really like it. I wear it all the time and it also comes with a lip scrub. It's like a little um, kit that you get. So, anyways, we've had so much going on. Um, Gunnar's birthday was a couple of weeks ago. He turned three. And we celebrated as a family, but his party is actually this weekend. Um, there's Daddy. Hi. Okay. You okay? All right. Love you. He's going home. So... Um, we celebrated as a family um, on his actual like birthday weekend and then his party is actually this weekend so I'll get into that in a little bit um, but I've just been like so busy with planning that and then if you did see yesterday's video I talked about how I am going to start teaching um, this fall and I have just been trying to get everything ready and prepared for that. Um, I am feeling more excited now and less anxious now that I've really gotten a lot of my lesson plans done. I've tried to do all of my lesson plans through the end of the year just so I can have that done and have that off of my mind. Um, and I'm pretty much done with that. Um, just have a few things to tweak. So. That has been keeping me busy. We've had doctor's appointments and other things going on. And then the biggest thing is that we started potty training. And last week we were in the thick of it. And if you have gone through it before, then you know you cannot take your eyes off of them for a split second, especially those first couple of days. Those are like the most crucial days um, because the moment you pick up your phone or your camera, that is when an accident happens. And I learned that the hard way. So. It was kind of nice. I really just took a break from being on social media. But anyways, he is doing awesome. He has been a rock star. We um, have officially surpassed a full week. And the book that we were using, it was, she said, you know, if you can get to like 10 days, like you're pretty much good. And he's been doing great. I mean, knock on wood, we have not had any issues. He is just doing so awesome. I'm so proud of him. So. I had so much anxiety about it leading up to it. It was way better than I expected. So um, anyway, so that's kind of what's been going on here. That's why I've been MIA for a little bit. We've just had so much going on and just doing the potty thing and all of that. So um, my battery is about to die. So I need to like wrap this up. So we are headed out right now. I'm headed to Sam's Club and to Publix. I need to get all of the food and stuff for um, his birthday party this weekend. Okay have a quick minute um, I have the exterminator coming here in a few minutes so I'm gonna try to quickly show you everything that I got for Gunner's party this weekend um, so behind me is the backdrop that I'm gonna be using for like behind the food and the cake table I'll show it to you really quick um, so the lime green is just like a tablecloth that I got from the Dollar Tree and then the metallic foil I got from Amazon and I have it just hooked to a clothing rack <laughs> and then I made a balloon arch while I've started it um, that I'm gonna hook on the top and it's just gonna go down kind of like that and then have some other balloons that are gonna go in the center and I'll show those to you as well I'll try to link to everything that I can down below if I can find it um, so also going on the backdrop are these 
little like mylar foil balloons. They're gonna spell out RAR, R-A-W-R. I got these at Party City. They were like a dollar, less than $2 um, per balloon. And you can really get these anywhere. I've seen them at Walmart, Amazon, Target. Um, and you can blow them up yourself. They come with a little straw that you blow up. And then um, the balloons that I'm using for the arch, I really feel like I got the best deal on those. Um, I kind of shopped around on that just to see what was going to be the best. I got them at Hobby Lobby. They're $1.59. You get a pack of 25 So I got this like holiday green color. And then this like turquoise kind of minty. It's called pearl mint, but it's more of a turquoise color. And then lime green. And then also for balloons, I picked up a couple packs of these. They say RAR on them. They're from Target as well, and they're in the same color scheme. Uh, I want to say these were like two something for a pack of 12. And um, I'm going to go get these filled with helium. These are actually going to go um, in the center of the tables. I'm going to do like a line of them and get them filled with helium. And I'm going to attach them to these dinosaurs that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. I have three different ones that I'm using. Um, I have this guy and this guy and this one. These um, are not a seasonal item. They have these all year round. I got these for Gunner last year for Christmas um, and put them in a stocking. These are really good quality for a dollar. You're going to pay upwards of $5 or more um, on something like this elsewhere. So these are really nice. And they have other ones to choose from as well. But I just went with these three because they go with the color scheme. So the balloons are going to be attached to these. And they're going to go, like I said, along the center of the table. And then on the tables, I picked up just some regular rectangle green tablecloths. Um, these are also from the Dollar Tree. And then this, you guys, like, this is what I use for wrapping all of my gifts. Um, you can get this at, like, Home Depot, Lowe's, like, hardware stores. It's always in the paint section. This one is a smaller one of it. I actually pulled the big one that I use, too. Um, and it's, like, construction contractor paper I think is what this one is called um, and then this one is like masking paper so this one's a little bit thinner that one is super thick but I use this at Christmas time birthdays it's great because it's just that brown craft paper and you can use any ribbon and decorate them however you want they're like it's good for everything so I'm actually going to use I needed to get another roll of this because I ran out and um, I'm going to use this as a table runner on all of the tables on the food tables, uh, the food, the cake, and then the regular tables as well. So this will go on top of the green and then the dinosaurs with the balloons. Um, let's see. These I got from Hobby Lobby. You might have seen them. They're in the like kids' bedroom section. Um, these are on clearance for like 59 cents. And they actually have like little hooks with them. But I think these were on clearance because the hooks were broken off or missing. Um, so we went ahead and filled them in and I'm just working on sanding them down and then I'm just going to paint over them. I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, um, but they were regularly $5.99. So I'm just going to put them somewhere, maybe like on one of the cake or food tables or something. And then also I got two of these from the Dollar Tree. They come made like this already with the jute, so that's a really good deal. Um, you can't even find the regular like silver buckets like these for a dollar. So the fact that this one is this big and decorated is insane. Um, so I just put the napkins in one. The napkins and like plasticware and plates and stuff came from Walmart. It was all under a dollar except for the utensils, of course. These I've had really since before I even like fully started planning this party. As soon as I knew he wanted to do a dinosaur theme. I picked these up Mother's Day weekend when my mom was in town. I realize now that Dollar Tree actually carries them all year round, but sometimes it's hard to get your hands on them because they don't always have a bunch of them. So I just like stocked up on them when I saw them. But they're these little dinosaur heads and they're just like little party hats. Let's see how. Well, it's just going to go like this. I thought that would be really fun to give to the kids. It can sit on the tables where they're sitting and there's like different colors. This dinosaur is just a regular wood dinosaur. I got it from Hobby Lobby um, when the wood pieces were on sale. So I got it for like a dollar or something and I painted it green. Um, this is going to go on top of the cake. And then I also got this wood three from Hobby Lobby as well. It was like, I think 50 cents on sale. I just glued a toothpick to it and I'm just going to put this 
put this on top of the cake. And then some silver candles to go with it. And let's see, um, I picked up, okay, so here are some of the other dinosaurs that you can get at the Dollar Tree. These are gonna just go on like the cake and the food tables. Um, I have some more somewhere too. Um, and then this I got at Target. It was on clearance for like $7 and I thought the colors were really perfect. It's actually one of those LED um, ones that you can use. And I just went ahead and put in Happy Birthday and RAR. I thought that was really cute. And this is just going to sit on the cake table, probably in front of the cake. And then I got this crate from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to tip it over and actually put the cake stand on it like this. This is the cake stand that I'm using. Um, so I thought that would be cute just to give it a little bit of height. And then I also picked these up from Hobby Lobby. This was... Um, $19.99 that I used my 40% off coupon on it, so I got a good deal on that. And then these are actually 50% off as well. They're just the like galvanized um, chargers. So I have cookies and cupcakes that are going to go on these. These are $6.99 and I got them for 50% off. Um, and then I also picked up these little cups. We're doing like hot dogs, pasta salad, chips couple different types of chips and dips, veggies and dip, um, watermelon or like fruit, um, and then the cupcakes, cake, and cookies. Um, so these I'm going to use, these are from the Dollar Tree, I'm going to use these for like onions, mustard, ketchup, relish, like all of the hot dog toppings. And then these are also from the Dollar Tree, I thought these would be a good size for the dips that I'm using with the chips. And then I already have like other like bowls and stuff that I'm using for the chips and the pasta. These are from Hobby Lobby. Um, they were $2.99. They're just those little wooden spoons. I'm going to write on them like ketchup, mustard, onion, relish, guacamole, French onion dip, whatever, um, to put in all of the different condiments and dips. And then this is going to be for the pasta salad. It's just a salad server. Got this at the Dollar Tree. This pack of palm leaves. There are 30 palm leaves. There's like big ones, medium, and small. It's kind of hard to see. I got these off of Amazon. I want to say it was like $10, but I like them because they're kind of flimsy, which is good because I'm going to lay these on the table. So these are actually going to go on top of this with the dinosaurs and the balloons and all that. And then I'm also gonna use some of the bigger ones just around like on the food tables and things like that. But I like that these are flat because they'll be good. You don't have to, they're not the, like the plasticky ones where you're gonna have to try to push them down. These will work perfect for what I need them for. I got these, two of these from Target, the dollar spot. These were $3 a piece. I thought these would be good to put the hot dogs in and then also the fruit. I was gonna do fruit like kebabs or skewers but I think I'm just going to do, because the fruit hasn't been looking very good lately, so I did buy just a big watermelon. And I think I'm just going to slice up watermelon into, like, spears and do, like, stegosaurus spears um, and put them in here. Um, and I think that is it. <laughs> this morning and then I ran out to get groceries earlier as you saw um, I'm folding towels right now um, and I wanted to pop on really quick one to end the vlog and two 
to give you guys an update on our IVF cycle, I've been getting questions recently just about how things are going, where we're at with things, and I really haven't updated you guys. I think the last I told you was that we were getting ready to start a new cycle, um, but we hadn't yet. So I have been on the Lupron now for almost two and a half weeks, um, and it's going fine. I really haven't had like any symptoms like I did last time. We were just waiting for my period to start. It actually was late, um, which I think some of that is just due to doing back-to-back -back cycles. Um, my body's just like uh, trying to adjust with hormones and all of that. Um, but I did finally start it, and um, I now have my instructions to finish out this protocol um, for this cycle. And I think on Wednesday, the 7th, I think that's the 7th, I start tapering off of it, and that is when I will start the estradiol patches. And I think I continue doing all of that until around, watch out kitty cat, the 24th if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that is when I stop the Lupron and add in the progesterone. Um, because my transfer date is on the 30th of August. So that is exciting. We have that scheduled now. Um, and it's with a doctor we've never had before. Actually, our doctor has never done any of our transfers. Um, I think he did one of our IUIs, if I remember correctly. But he's never done any of our IVF transfers. And the doctor that we have this time, I don't know that we, we've never had him for IVF. He might have, like years ago, did one of our IUIs. I don't think we've ever... I don't know that we've ever had him. It'll be interesting to see how it goes with this one because we've never had him. But our transfer is on the 30th. We, um, I scheduled it for that Friday um, just because I, actually now that I think about it, I think that's Labor Day weekend. Anyways, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Um, but I wanted it to be, I could have done it like any day that week, but I wanted it to be on a Friday because I really wanted the weekend to just rest. And the last one I had, we did on a Friday as well, but I didn't rest as much as I probably should have. Like, I came home and rested that day, but then the following day I went and ran like all of my errands and did grocery shopping and all of that. And then that night, we got together with a bunch of friends and cooked out and our kids played. So... I don't know. I just feel like I should probably rest a little more this time. So I thought that we have nothing going on that weekend. I'm just going to like literally like they don't ever put me on bed rest. Like some people they have to for certain reasons. I have never been on bed rest um, for that. But I'm putting myself on bed rest. Like a loose bed rest. Um, I'm just not going to do anything. <laughs> like I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to relax, lay around, probably watch a bunch of movies and TV and just like chill and try to let that little embryo burrow itself into my uterus um so anyways otherwise like feeling okay um i'm not feeling as good as i was feeling the last time obviously i'm still like disappointed and i don't know i'm still struggling like i still have moments where i cry from the last one which is crazy because we're already like in the middle of doing another cycle but that one just hit me really hard. Um, I'm just not as hopeful or like positive about it. I mean, I do have moments where I'm like feeling good about it. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm not Debbie Downer or anything, but I'm just kind of like, you know, I, I'm still sad. Like I'm still sad and heartbroken from it. Um, and you know, like last time I was like, oh, I know I'm doing so good because I'm genuinely happy for everybody, like all my friends who are getting pregnant. Yeah, that is not the case this time. <laughs> not that I'm not genuinely happy for them because I am. Um, I have a lot of friends, it seems like recently in the YouTube and blogging world that are all of a sudden like announcing their pregnancies and I am genuinely happy for them. Please make no mistake about that, but it sucks. Like, I'm not going to lie and be like, yay, you know, I mean, yes, I am happy for them. I really am. But when I see it, I'm just like, it sucks. It really does. Like, I am a little bit jealous and I'm just like, why not me, you know? Um, so sometimes when I see that, like, like I said, I, I, I am happy. I just may not respond. Like if they post something on social media, I may not respond right away. I may need like a moment just to like have my own little pity party and then I can come back. And when I do give a response, it is because I've had that time 
to like wallow in my you know self sorrows and just like feel bad for myself and then I'm over it and I'm fine but yeah I mean it sucks it really does I am happy for them <laughs> um, but when you want that for yourself too it, it it makes it hard so this time is not as like all rainbows and butterflies like it was last time um, but I'm being honest with you guys and I I've, I've, I've that's what I've been this entire time so anyways I am gonna finish folding this towel I'm just kind of like sitting here with it in my lap I just wanted to give you guys an update on that um, so once I start all the other stuff I will of course keep you guys posted especially if I'm feeling like any symptoms or anything like that and then um, yeah hopefully the transfer goes really well please keep us in your prayers um, we really appreciate all the sweet thoughts and prayers from you guys um, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this vlog if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and leave down below in the comments or questions if you have any like video requests or recommendations anything you want to see from me I'm going to try really hard guys this week to get back on track with my uploading schedule um, life has just been so busy but I'm trying to get back on track so anyways thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.